staff who out. I meet a lot of Americans down here, obviously. I'm in the south, southwest UF survey. And um, they always, they're always saying to me, Oh, you're from Canada. Oh, you Canadians, you guys are so nice all the time. No, we're not really that nice. We're just not stupid. We know there's a good chance you may be armed. Okay, so it's Saturday, November 23rd. I'm going to uh, leave this uh, campsite here in the California side of Lake Havasu. And I'm going to head it over to Arizona and south, I guess south and then south and then uh, east to Arizona. Uh, to Parker. I'm going to check out the area there. This blows me away. Check this out, Canada. Arizona. Tell us we aren't taxed up our ass in Canada. Well, it's November 27th, and I've just just left Yuma, and I'm now in uh, California, heading towards San Diego. I like Yuma. Very nice town. Very provincial. Nice people there. Weather's nice. Gotta see San Diego though. I really love the Pacific Ocean so... Hey, let's find out. See that price of gas? Four seventy-nine a gallon. I just paid two seventy two in Yuma, and now I'm in California, about uh, I don't know um, eighty miles or seventy miles into California, and the prices shot up. At 479.9. So it's 480 a gallon, man. Wow. So I'm not buying any gas. I'm just pulling over here to make myself a coffee. <laughs> I make my own coffee. Eat my own food, make my own food. I don't eat fast food, so it's gotta travel cheap, man. Cheap, cheap, cheap. And now it looks like we're going down again. <laughs> what a country around here. Find me up the Cisco Kid. So it's about three hours since my last video that I posted like with Yuma, approximately, and I'm in El Cajon, California, 
It's about 15 miles from San Diego proper. I just want to find out. I maybe don't want to go right into San Diego. I want to go like a little south of San Diego near some water. I'm going to check that out. Peace everybody. So, it's like quarter to seven. Uh, Wednesday, the November 27th. I'm in San Diego. I'm parked on a beach called uh, Dog Beach. And um, right on uh, the Pacific Ocean. So, <clears throat> it's pitch dark down here. It's only quarter to seven at night, but it's black. Black, black, black. I couldn't see nothing. I can see some lights across the bay. But anyway, uh, apparently uh, from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. there's no parking here or no overnight parking <laughs> from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. So I'll stay here till 2 and then I'll go find somewhere to park for two hours and come back. I've got a feeling it's going to be a beautiful day tomorrow in uh, the nice beach. That's what I like. Good night all. Dog Beach. It's right about 7.30 in the morning here. And there's a tiny little rainbow way over there starting. Tide is coming in. So I'm back from uh, San Diego now. I'm in Arizona again. I'm about uh, eight miles from Yuma, kind of north of Yuma. This is called uh, Formosa Pond. You can see the mountains over there. <laughs> Nice little spot. This is uh, Formosa Pond. Not like an oasis <laughs> in the middle of the desert again. Eskimos uh, pooped. Not feeling well again. Uh, Oh, and these ducks over there. Aren't they cool. Oh, kind of nice to wake up to. It's about 60 degrees. Nine o'clock in the morning, or ten o'clock, I'm not sure which. <laughs> the time changes. Uh, on the border of Arizona and California, I believe. So, I have to change my water. So, we woke up this morning. I don't know what I called that pond, but it's Fortuna, Fort, Fortuna, Fortuna uh, Pond or Lake. It's um, maybe 10 miles from uh, Yuma or so. And then uh, I went to Yuma and I picked up some stuff in the, at the post office. And then I decided I'm going to try this Mitt Tree Lake, which is another... Oh, I don't know, five or six miles. I think it's 19 miles altogether from uh, from where I was in Yuma. So I went to the Walmart and got my stuff and uh, decided to see what Mitri Lake looks like. Well, that's the uh, little mountainside view. But I found this really nice spot. I, 
forget what I called that place this morning. It was some other kind of lake or pond. But it's uh, not that. Anyway, this is this is the spot that I found on uh, Fortuna or um, <laughs> Mitri Lake. Mitri Lake, Arizona. There's a dam way down there. This is the Colorado River, but this is a dam way down there. And uh, isn't this a nice little spot? This is this a beautiful little spot. I think I'm just going to grab my my chair and I'm going to sit right down there and read my book or something. And then if I want, I can always have a little campfire here. It's kind of private in a way. There's other people way over there. See the RV up on the hill there. The road is kind of close, but I'll live with that. It's just a dirt road. There's nobody, not too many people coming by it. So, it's uh, Thursday, December 5th now. And I'm going to be hanging around here for, for the next while. Between Nevada, Arizona, California... You like walking in the mud, eh? Ask him. <laughs> Ask him. Ask him. Come on, buddy. Come here. Come here. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Good boy. <clears throat> That's my view tonight. Hey, duckies. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Sun has just gone down over those mountains. I didn't catch the sunset, but not bad. <laughs>